England, three Lions raise World Cup expectations after ruthless Panama display. Wow, just wow. Try putting a lid on expectations after this stunning goal fest. Keep dreaming, start believing and shout it from the rooftops. This could just be England's year. The nation is falling hopelessly in love with Gareth Southgate's young Cavaliers. Past England sides have stunk out tournaments. These are three Lions are now lighting up this one and sit top of Group G ahead of Thursday's final game against second place Belgium. England boss Southgate challenged his players to rewrite history before the game. But never in his wildest dreams could he have imagined within 24 hours, they'd have done it in such style. OK, it was only Panama. Bad-tempered, ill-disciplined, hopeless Panama. But let's take nothing away from a performance which used confidence and screened belief. World Cup games aren't meant to be like this. Previously England have been dragged down by inferior opponents. Not this time. Not these three lions. No tension, no toying. Just a white-shirted first-half tornado which pummeled Panama into submission and smashed a string of records in the process. After 45 minutes, England were 5-0 up having scored more goals than they'd ever managed in a World Cup game. It was the first time they bagged more than three since the 1966 final. Now there's an omen. To think that before beating Tunisia in last week's opening game, they not managed to in a game at this level in 12 years. At this stage four years ago in Brazil, England had already been knocked out. Under Southgate, they're simply knockout. No one more so than Harry Kane who emulated the achievements of Sir Jeff Hurst and Gary Lineker in scoring a hat-trick. Now with five to his name in two games, Kane is proving too hot to handle right now. His third, in the 61st minute took him level with Sir Jeff on five World Cup goals. If he carries on at this rate, it won't just be a golden boot he's collecting but a knighthood too. And what about John Stones, whose first half double means he has scored twice as many World Cup goals as Wayne Rooney managed in his career? The best goal on a sweltering, crazy afternoon came from Jesse Lingard, roughed up and kicked relentlessly by Panama's hatchet men. He made it 3-0 in the 36th minute with a 22-yard curler into the top corner after swapping passes with Raheem Sterling who will be disappointed again not to have joined the Goal scoring party himself. Stones had opened the floodgates on eight minutes with a thumping header with Panama's defenders inexplicably leaving him unmarked from a corner. Kane then scored the first of two sublime penalties after 20 minutes, finding the top corner after Lingard was bundled over by two defenders. After Lingard's cracker, the fourth was a delightful team goal from a free kick routine straight off the training ground. Jordan Henderson lost his man to take Aaron Trippier's short pass and dinked the ball into the box towards Kane. The skipper headed across goal and though Sterling's effort was saved by Jaime Benedo from close range, Stone was on hand to not home the rebound. Kane found the same top corner from the spot again on the stroke of half-time after Annabel Godoy was finally penalised for grappling the England captain inside the box. It was impossible to follow that in the second half. Kane completed his hat-trick in fortuitous circumstances, diverting Ruben Loftus-Cheek's shot past the keeper with his heel on 62 minutes, his last act before being replaced by Jamie Vardy. The loudest cheer from a crowd in which Panama fans outnumbered the English 3-1 to one came in the 78th minute though when substitute Felipe Baloy swept home the country's first ever World Cup goal with a fine finish after England's defence switched off at a free kick. They actually created the game's opening chance when Godoy fired wastefully wide in the fifth minute. The underdogs almost had the first and managed to have the last word. But in between, England was simply sensational. Roll on Belgium.